All right, welcome everyone. We are back. We are on episode five of John and Eric's epic adventures into Skyrim. So after spending the day way up north in Dawnstar, we were able to make our way back down, right? We destroyed the Skull of Corruption, Hermina's evil Daedric artifact, and we made our way back down here. We, we took the carriage, it was pretty boring. I managed to fix that rescue mission for the companions, so now we can officially turn it in. I talked to him uh, before the daybreak in game. It is currently a little bit before 9 a.m. And let's see, we have 20,000 gold. I managed to sell a couple of our frenzy potions, poisons here. I sold about 20 of them. And then all of the loot that we managed to collect grab down here, which you can see is all of this different armor, right? We have the bows, the maces, all of this. And then I grabbed these and separated them just to make it a little easier for our crafting later. So we are really close to level 37. Uh, with our buffs right now, with and this is like the max we can basically get our speech. We're 123. Wow. And so the plan for this episode is we're going to be refining all of those orcish items to see how much we can get our smithing up. Our smithing is this one, right? Yep, our smithing's currently 78, which is pretty good. We're gonna see how high we can get this. Um, we're not gonna put a perk into ebony, but eventually we want to get up to draconic smithing so we can make dragon gear out of all the dragon bones and scales we find. As for the different quests and stuff we're going to do today, I think what we're going to do, we're, we're going to turn this in. We're going to go and kill this dragon, uh, not dragon, giant today, just to kind of get it off the list right there. I think there's two of them down there. So we're going to take both of those out. That should be pretty fun. And then we are going to continue down this primary path and explore Markarth a little bit. So that is going to be the core of today's episode, exploring Markarth. While we were up assisting completely forgotten his name. Um, Erendur, right? I can never remember his name. Erendur, as a devoted priest of Mara, really impressed us, right? We were like, wow, you know, this, this guy is really with it. You know, he was strong in combat. We really appreciated that. And so this quest back over here, talking to Cal, uh, Calselmo, like, yeah, I have to say his name correctly, was getting getting a Mara's Blessing, which was a quest for back down in a Riften. So that is the main reason we're going to be heading there. If we happen to do any other exploring while we're there, that'll be great. But getting Mara's Blessing will be one of our primary goals because that, we, we know, you know, metagaming, that it gives a plus five magic resistance, and that is really powerful, right? For the, the types of things that we're going to be taking on, we're definitely going to need that. So what we're going to do for the next few minutes is try and sell as many of these potions as we can. I think we'll take on a bunch of these, uh, like the heaviest and most annoying, because, you know, we, we don't, we, we have plenty of carry weight in our inventory right now. So we're going to do our best. Yeah, we'll just take all of them. We're going to sell those. We're going to sell a couple other random things in our inventory. We're going to see how much we go up from 20,000 gold right over there in the corner. And then we're going to get some heavy armor training see what we get, so I'll see you then. Alright, so we will turn in this quest, and then we'll go get heavy armor training, because we're up to 40,000 gold, right? Which is pretty freaking awesome. We managed to sell potions in exchange for 20k. Come to me with questions. I know our history almost as well as Vignar by now. Except I can remember it. I rescued Heimsker. It took a long time to get him to realize I rescued so him. I hear. You brought honor to the companions and yourself. 800 gold. Damn. Good day. We'll, uh, we'll get new work later. Wow. I was not expecting that to give 800 gold. That's pretty good. What we really care about is the training. Thinking I need to train some more. We, uh, we also Until managed to time. level up I'm here to our, help. um, total level, right? Heavy armor I'll show you what I can about protecting yourself. Okay, here we go. This this will be painful, right? Ow, 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 ow. Five levels.
And now we can do a full level up, right? We'll uh, once again stick it in a Magicka, right? And we're now halfway to 38. And we have two perk points too, which is pretty good. So one thing I'd like to do is throw it into this, right? Uh, reduces enemy shouts by 50%. This is a lot, like I'm worried that we're gonna get into a dragon fight or kill Draugr or something. I'm gonna forget to get this. So this could be the difference of like using a superlative potion or not. So we're definitely investing in that. As for the other perk, I'm not too sure what to do with it yet. We could unlock a new magic tree, right? We, we unlock destruction, we haven't done any training with it. We could unlock Illusion or Conjuration. How do we get 20 Illusion? Oh, right. We got 20 Illusion just by casting the, what is it? Uh, warmth spell, right? As we were going up and down the throat of the world. So that's kind of funny. As for Conjuration, though, I'm not really sure how we can passively level that. I would have to be a bit more active, but I don't see us using it. Either way, yeah, we're not really going to use one-handed at all. Um, can we do anything for Marksman? really going to use those. Definitely not going to use uh, evasion. Sneak I'm considering investing in because this perk, specifically this perk right here, allows you to bypass 50% of the armor and we, you know, that's pretty freaking good, especially for uh, stealth attacks. So, you know, and this he heavy armor nullifies this, then basically all of the other perks are nullified by heavy armor. But I think that this one is not. So, you know, not bad. And then for lock picking, we're still waiting on 90. Blech. But it'll make it all a lot easier. Alright. So what we'll do now is we're out of gold. The town's out of nice gold, time. right? We are going to not grab... Well... We'll check around and we'll talk to them about getting work. If any of them appear to be on the way or in Markarth, that will be amazing. We'll take them, but they probably won't be. So we'll, we'll pick up a new quest. We'll figure out what it is. And then we are going to make our way down to Sakuna's Kiss here and take on the giants. That'll be our next, next task. <sighs> oh boy. See any giants? I see one giant. Okay. I see two giants. So, I wonder if we might be able to kill just one of them? I don't think so. Right? The, uh, what is it? Kill the, the giant, right? So, it wants this one. But I'm pretty sure if we attack this one, the other one's going to come running too. So what we're going to have to do is play this tactfully, right? Is it possible for us to get up here and kind of... No, this is going to be really bad. He sees us. Oh, he sees us. <sighs> All right, let's just go for it. No, we'll... What do we... <laughs> I have no idea what we're going to utilize here. We'll start with this rock, right? All right. Let's see. What does that put? It brought us our silver arrows, right? Definitely want to use something a little bit better than those. I think we're going to be using our Ebony Fire. Holy crap. Maybe, maybe not the fire, because Eric's right there. So we'll use our Ebony. Oh, I missed. Alright, so he's running. Whoa. No, no, no. Once again, we really cannot use any exploding ones because if Eric takes damage, he is toast. 
from that fire. Come on. This is going surprisingly well. Uh, uh, here we go, here we go. Very nice. And we only took out the giant that was causing the problem too. Not bad. Got some of them back, 10 toes. We don't really care about any of this, actually. <laughs> How you doing, Eric? That's why you put a healing aura, right? That was a piece of cake. I mean, the whole time he beat the crap out of Eric, so hopefully Eric's heavy armor went up a little bit. Sometimes there's a chest over here but I don't know if we'll be able to find anything as that. No. Yeah, there's a chest right there, but I don't think we'll be able to get to it. We can try. Is that it? No. A little bit more, maybe. <laughs> oh. What is this? Uh, restores one point of health. Not only... Only for those who are ridiculous. Run, Eric, run! No, not that way! Ah! <laughs> Hopefully, Eric will catch up soon. He'll figure it out. <laughs> All right, we'll 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 progress forward. Ooh. Look at this. Magnus? Oh, oops. I didn't kill him. Oh no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did no. We lost it. We lost our um voice of the sky cuz we ran over a wolf. Oh well, we had it for uh 12 in-game hours. Believe it or not, right? 12 hours. And then it was me being sloppy riding a horse, right? Anyway, Magnus, what we got up here? Anything cool? Staff of fireballs. It says we can take it. Uh, no, we're not gonna. Oh. Okay. Oh, it asked if we wanted to follow him. No, but we did get a blessing of Magnus. Take a couple of these. But if we double check, we are still a follower of our K. But we took all his stuff. <laughs> well, we need it, okay? That's my defense. What's, uh... Oh, nice, we got a save. What's the buff that we just got? Get the prayer buff. 10% chance to absorb a hostile spell and recharge your magic. Wow. It's a lot better than 10 extra points of health. Seriously. Huh, all right. This place seems nice. Markarth Stables. We'll uh, drop off our animal friends here that we picked up, right? The wolf and then the elk. Oh, right, and the, the wood. That's the other thing I was supposed to drop off. We have some firewood. First time in Markarth, Traveller? 
take my advice. You see anything, don't get involved. The city guard will take care of it. Uh, is there some sort of problem with the city? See, there you go, getting involved. Don't ask too many questions in Markarth. Safer for everyone that way. But head on in. Keep your nose clean, and you won't have any problems with us. Okay. That's kind of suspicious, right? I'll switch over to our dagger, because we're just kind of like... Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell? Whoa. I die for my people. Good lord. The Marcos city guard has this all under control. There are no forsworn here. What in the hell? Holy crap. Gods, a woman attacked right on the streets. Are you all right? Did you see what happened? Yeah, I was right there. I, I mean, he didn't know it was killing me, but he shouted something about the Forsworn. The Forsworn? Strange. <laughs> well, I hope the Eight give you more peace in the future. Uh, oh, I think you dropped try, this. Medicine. Some kind of note. Looks important. A note? Um... Is this your note? What does all this mean? No, that's yours. Must have fallen out of your pocket. Okay. I'd better get going. Ah. Uh, my goodness. Yeah, we're going to take we're going to take our key cuz it makes it a little bit easier <laughs> later on. Ohms. I said alms you backbiter. Give a cripple worker a helping hand. Okay, here's some gold finally. Now get lost. Good day. <laughs> Well, we like his cloak, so we're going to take that, but y'all can take care of the rest. Goodness. Let's see what that note said. Miss Lemus, read the notes. Uh, note, note, note. Note. Meet me at the Shrine of Talos at midnight. All right. Well, originally we were just kind of coming in here to do a uh, a relatively simple quest, but it looks like we've been recruited into something a little bit bigger. Now we were told Calcimo's up here in the keep, right? Look at this place, incredible. So we're gonna focus on that, right? We'll uh, focus on what we came here to do. But then around midnight. Let's see what's going on. There we go. What are you hiding, priest? I'm not hiding anything. It's closed for a reason. Typical Imperial lies. First, you take away Talos. Now you're keeping us from seeing our honored dead? You and the Jarl will answer for any desecration of my ancestors' bodies. That's enough, Thongor. We're done. What's it's about all that? All of the dead. No, you can't go in there. Why not? I can't talk about it. Rest assured, the Jarl hears everyone's concerns. You will be able to visit the dead again soon. Look, we're basically priests of RK, all right? And I don't like being ignored. Then my answer is the Hall of the Dead is closed. Wow. The Order of the Jarl. Understood. He resisted. Holy, like, holy cow, our speech level is like 120 and he resisted that. All right, we'll be nice. I could help, right? We're priests of right. Arcade. I was going to suggest the Jarl hire Damn. someone to sort this mess out anyway. We've discovered that some of the dead have been eaten. Eaten? Flesh has been chewed off. Bones were snapped to get at the marrow inside. We haven't caught anyone or anything yet. It's like it knows when I'm there. If you can get to the bottom of this, the priesthood of RK will reward you. Take my key and be careful. All right. Tread lightly in the hall. You don't know what's in there. <sighs> this ought to be pretty simple, right? 
So the hall's back over here. Let's just get this out of the way, right? Here's the hall of the dead. So we'll kill the animal that's in here and we'll kind of move on, right? He's a kick. Not many would walk blindly into a crypt smelling of steel and blood, but not me. Hmm. I Who's there? The hunger inside of you. Gnaw at you. You see the dead and your mouth grows wet. Your stomach growls. It's all right. I will not shun you anymore. Stay. I will tell you everything I forgot. Who's there? What's going on? Who this? New phone, who this? So what's coming? You were young when you first tasted human flesh, weren't you? A brother or sister had died? An accident, of course. Then the hunger set in. Curiosity. What's the harm in just one bite? It's okay now. You found a friend who understands you. You can let go of your guilt. Guilt? What are you talking about, huh? Of their first meal. The shame is too much. But you don't need to hide anymore. Namira, the Lady of Decay, accepts you for what you are. She has a place for us where we can sate our appetites without judgment. Hmm, all right. Wh where? Where is this it's place? It's inside Reachcliff Cave. But the dead have stirred from their slumber recently, and I was forced here. Meet me there. We will fight our way to Namira's embrace together. Until then, tell the people of Markarth that their dead won't be disturbed anymore. We have bigger plans ahead. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Try and invest in a better alchemist next time. So, cannibals. Excellent. Everybody loves cannibals. Let's see. Where where is their uh, their cave located? Taste of death. Where's that? Taste of death. Here, uh, yeah, was, was that at Reachcliff? Yeah, so, yeah, it's on the way back, right? We might be able to handle them a bit, manhandle them a bit. What are you doing here? The excavation site is closed. I don't need any more workers or guards. Are you Calselmo? Um, I was looking for you. I told you I'm not hiring any more guards. Why do you people always bother me when I'm trying to finish my research? You idiot! Do you even know who I am? The most recognized scholar on the Dwemer in all of Tamriel. And you people keep bothering me. I... I'm sorry, I... I got too excited. I'm in the middle of some very stressful work. And I, and I shouldn't have yelled. How can I help you? Um, where is it? I'm here to help you get laid. I was beginning to lose faith that any help would come. But um, uh, you see, I've been thinking about Feline quite a bit. You know Feline? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know her. Well, suffice to say, she is resplendent, but not without resolve. Striking in all senses. The trouble is that I can't seem to speak around her. My mouth goes dry. And, and I start to shake. I could never hope to approach her. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, you're probably overthinking it, bro. That may be the case, but she is as volatile as a saber cat. One wrong word, and I've seen her turn on a man so quickly. Uh, is there anyone who knows what she likes? There is one, Ingvar. He's quite popular with the ladies. Thankfully, Feline is not quite his type, but they've been friends for some time. And he may have some ideas. Please, ask him what she likes. It's my only chance. Hmm. All right. That seems pretty reasonable. Let's see. I think he's outside, yep. Outside on the path, so we'll just make quick work of this, right? 
run on down the path. That's not what I was trying to do, but close enough. You don't know anything about this house? No. Anyone seen entering or leaving? Any strange lights or unusual noises? It's abandoned, and it's always been abandoned. Excuse me, but oh. do you know anything about this house? Seen anyone enter or leave? Um, I don't know. I mean, I just got here. Damn. It's like everyone in this city has amnesia. I'm with the Vigil of Stendar. I believe this house might have been used for Daedra worship. Legal rights and so forth. Hmm. Uh, yeah, sorry. Thank I don't know anything. Time. Good luck, though. Right? <laughs> Another body to get rid of. Uh, no, notice by order of the vigil, vigil of Stendar. Under investigation, do not enter. To enter is to be doomed. There is no way out. Needs a key. Who are you? Don't mind the dogs. They get anxious when they haven't had dinner. Okay. Interesting. Until next time. Back to this. Uh, you. Bloody enough for you, outsider. Huh? Markarth, is it bloody enough for you? <laughs> More blood is always better. Yeah, it's bloody enough. Turn around and go back where you came. City doesn't need you. Doesn't want you. Blood and silver are what flows through Markarth. That's the way it is. That's the way it'll stay. Um, do you know what Feline likes? What? Why? Are you interested? That's for Calcimo. Calcimo? Is he interested in Feline? Calcimo. That sly okay. old codger. I should have guessed. Good for him. For the both of them. Between you and me, she could use a bit of warmth. As for what she might like... I didn't tell you this. Feline likes to act tough, but she really has a soft spot for, of all things, poetry. You know, I took some classes at the Bard's College as a youth. Poems come in handy when wooing. There's a poem I once used on an older lady of Rorikstead. I can change it to be about Feline, if you've got some gold. Are you prepared to receive my golden words? Uh, it does seem like a lot of money. I'll buy it, fine. Wonderful. I'll write it out so you won't forget it. You should probably just take this directly to Feline. Wouldn't want the old ice brain stumbling over the words. <laughs> All right. 200 gold. For a single page of text. Yeah, well, you know, I guess it took him a while to write it, so. Better work. It better work. She is a. Uh, who are you? You there. You another Imperial puppet? Answer me. Hey, Kai, what's up? Um, I. What, I have no idea what you're talking There's about, bro. War on and you don't know what I'm talking about. The Empire is destroying everything Skyrim stands for. Jarl Igmund can refuse to see me all he wants. The Silverblood family will be hurt. Uh, why should the Jarl listen to you? We own Sidna Mine, oh. the best prison in Skyrim, and source of half the wealth in this city. We keep the Reach safe. We flood Markarth with wealth. Does the Yaro listen to us when we want to say? No. He's busy forgetting that Ulfric Stormcloak saved this city from the Forsworn. Hmm. Ulfric's a hero, not a damn criminal. Interesting. Uh, how did he save it? He used the Thule, shouted those Forsworn from the walls. Then he led a band of Nord warriors in to take the city. Just like Talos himself at the Battle of Old Rolden, reclaiming the reach from those heathen natives. Hmm. Stay out of trouble in my city. Interesting. Fancy place. Oh! Who are you to approach the Jarl of Markarth? Um. I guess I have questions. Very well. You may approach the Mournful Throne. But watch your words. Actually, I wanted to talk to you. 
about Cal Selma. Cal Selma? What about him? Um, what do you think of him? <laughs> He's an odd little man, always poking around the rooms and wasting time in his museum. Seems friendly enough, obviously intelligent. Why do you ask? Uh, he has feelings for you. <laughs> You're out of your mind. That old coot's more interested in dead dwarves than anybody around here. Don't talk such rot. No, no, no. Um, it's true, he told me. Please, stop wasting my time. You're embarrassing yourself. Okay. Then what if As I told you... Igman's security is my chief concern. I have a poem that I'd like you Pardon to read. Me? It's from Kalsamo. Just I'm read it. I'm not sure what this is all about. This is lovely. Kalsalma wrote this? About me? I never knew he had such feeling in him. Well, he cares about you. Clearly. I've never even thought of him in that manner. I wish that I was as skilled with words as he. Here, take in this letter. I may not be as eloquent as he is, but I hope he understands. Alright. We don't really need to talk to the Arl, so woo! Cal Selma, we have a letter for you. Talos actually refers to a Breton. Suppress Nor's uprising and build the empire. <laughs> I have things to study. What is it? I have a letter. This is more than I could have hoped for. Have you really done this for me? I have to see her. Please excuse me. Yeah, we'll we'll do everything else in a moment. What? Oh, goodbye. <laughs> I was gonna say we could just like use uh, a shout to jump in front of him, but we'll run with him. It's carrying a nice satchel. Whoever sword, I think. Pauline, I... Shh. It's all right. You don't need to say anymore. I had no idea you were so nuanced. I love you. So I hear. <laughs> Come here, you. And, like, there's no kissing animation or anything. Some, that Seriously, that should be, like, a fundamental mod, right? Good to see Skyrim still has such fine people. You give an old man hope. What's in the excavation site? Assistant, aren't you? Oh, very well. Who am I to stand in the way of curiosity? I'll let you in if you agree to something for me. There's a giant spider in the Chuan cell. My workers call her Nimi, the poison one. If you deal with Nimi, I'll let you into both the excavation site and my Dwemer Museum. What do you say? Uh, yeah, all right. Enthusiasm. Good. Here's the key to the dig site. Until next time, then. Hmm. Hello, friend. Uh, well, let's take a look at the spiders. Right, and then we'll, we'll get a look around. And then we'll decide if we'll invest in this business. So we're going to do a little bit of spider hunting today, right? And that's how we'll wrap up this episode. And the next one, we'll go and take on, uh, we'll figure out what the midnight meeting is, but right now, we're gonna take on some spiders. I mean, they're just spiders. How hard could they be? We already took out spiders before, right? Ooh. Fancy. When we're pots and large metal. Wow. Wow. chest. Wow. Gold diamond necklace. A couple other things too. Flawless silver diamond circlet. Take all that. Hell yeah. That was worth it. Didn't really know what to expect. Um, 
We should. I'm sure Eric's gonna be okay here. Give one for ourselves. And how are our other buffs? We're a little bit peckish, right? We still have our uh, mammoth tomato stew. And we are out of beef stew. I've been forgetting to purchase some new beef stew, so I guess that should be okay. We'll uh, eat one of these to get rid of the, the peckishness, though. Anything back over here? No, I don't think so. Cool uh, urn, though, right? The stories don't say why the dwarves disappeared. I wonder if their machines turned on them. Hmm. All right, what we got? Let's see. There's someone there. Oh, hold on. Also, how many uh, soul gems do we have? A bunch. So we might be able to fill up a bunch of soul gems, though. Uh, do you just use the dead white worm mammoth to make the stew? I think I are. I managed to find a bunch of them actually. One soul, 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 soul. Look at all the souls we're catching. Oh, that's not big enough. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna need a little bit of a... Get out of here! Like, this is the best way to farm souls. Oh, I was trying to block, but... That's the end of that. Okay. So how many, uh, how many souls did we fill there, right? Looks like we got at least six. So that's pretty good. Take some of their venom. Cool. Dinner. <laughs> I do believe there's a few things that we can loot. Like, uh, eh. Dwarven dagger. Fortify smithing by two points. Yeah, we'll grab it. They're actually kind of difficult to get, so... I don't think there's anything else up here. We'll keep our dagger out, though, just in case we have any little buggers. Who would like to eat us? No, oh, so this is definitely where they're hanging out. Do spider eggs actually, like, do anything, right? I don't, I don't even know if there's something or anything we can combine them with, so... Anybody else? Oh. Yep. Easy soul. Oh, look at all these guys. Lovely. This isn't too bad, see? Alright, how many, uh... Oh, we've, we've filled up our petties, so looks like it's time to switch away from that now. We should have brought more. That went pretty well, all things considered. Nice. Okay. Doesn't seem so bad, right? Don't see any big spiders. See this guy though. Notes. Uh. Ba, ba, ba. Yeah, I don't know what that says. What was that though? Oh my goodness. Okay, that is a big spider. We're gonna quickly take some. Uh, what is it? Resist poison. Seventy-five percent. Nimi, huh? Piece of cake. Eric, Eric, you okay? <laughs> oh my goodness, all right. Let's pull some venom. 
Anything else? No? Oh, I'll get rid of her, though. Yeah, we can't dispose of the, the little guys, which is kind of sad. There he is. Okay. Eric's looking good. <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Eric's fine. This... this. Oh my god, this guy loses his spine? Oh, look, so we searched him and it automatically has us read this. Uh, we're saddled with some researchers who can't go four steps without uh, examining something. And they fight about as well as you'd think, probably worse. Strom at least has some magical competence, but none of them can swing a sword. But they're all trustworthy. Yeah, okay. Oh. I see. The fuck? I... Whoa! Eric! Oh my god, it's because Eric's right on top of me. <laughs> okay, that was pretty weird. What do you think? Should we go deeper? No, I think we're gonna call it. Well, uh... Why don't we turn in this quest? We'll invest in his business, and I think that'll be the end of this episode. We'll see what we're gonna do a little bit later. Yeah, spiders are really great for getting souls. I guess we should have brought more of them, huh? Like more petty souls. <laughs> also, this is a crap load of metal that we can smelt down. So, we'll come back in here for that later. I'm just gonna stop because something kind of wonky is happening with my controls. I can feel it, it's like loose, right? I don't, I don't really know how else to describe it, but. We're back. You're not, Cosmo. Good to see Skyrim still has such fine people. You give an old man hope. Nimi's dead. You have my gratitude. That spider had been interfering with my excavations for months. As promised, it is the key to the Dwemer Museum. Mind the displays. Some of them are quite fragile. And just because we're going to invest, Excellent. because, you know. I think you'll be glad that you made this decision. Thank you. I'll be sure to put it to good use. Excellent. Safe travels to you. And that will be our episode. So we were covered in blood. That's always a great way to end the episode, right? We uh, we killed a giant. We took down a big spider. We helped people find true love. And on our next episode, we're going to dive a little bit deeper here into what Markarth has to offer, all of its secrets, all of its dormant ruins. And I will see you 